in today's video I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best zone coverages that you can run in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is devoted and designed to help you really get better at Madden 21. We do that through a variety of different tips and strategies. I post four times a day here on YouTube with those tips and strategies for you. I'm just teaching you different methods, different thoughts, different theories, different practices of the game to try to give you as much information as you can so that you can make the best decisions that you can in this game. And so if you're interested in getting better, if you're interested in getting these tips and strategies on a daily basis all you have to do is just um, click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen all right guys I wanted to jump in today's video and I wanted to talk specifically about what I believe to be one of the best zone concepts zone defenses in Madden 21 and it comes to us from the big nickel over G now the trick with this is you're gonna want to go down to the packages and you're gonna want to put the slot cornerback package in um, by putting the slot cornerback package in, it's gonna change the adjustments that you're gonna be able to do um, and make sure that this actually feels much much more practical now the next step that you're gonna take is you're going to to go into your coaching adjustments right here and you're going to put auto alignment to you could put this on man line or baseline it doesn't really matter ball and air defense to play ball option defense conservative and then tackling i like to leave these normal for the flats now this is where it's really really important for flats what you're going to do is you are going to drop your flat zones to 20 yards okay drop your flat zones to 20 yards for curl flats you're going to drop them to five yards okay just like this right here and then for hook curls you're going to drop these to five five yards now if you are you know leading in a game you could potentially drop the curl flats back to 10 yards if you weren't trying to take away the super super underneath crossing drag routes and all that fun stuff now the, the defense comes to me actually out of either you can do this out of big nickel you can also do this out of the 46 normal so we're going to show you it first out of big nickel and then we'll show it to you out of the 46 normal defense now the play that we're going to be coming out in every single time is either this play corner blitz three or the play um cover two you can do it out of either one of these i personally like cover three uh, or corner blitz three and what you want to do is you want to run your corner blitz three you want to run your um your that left side corner blitz you want the corner to be on the blitzing side of the short side of the field so whichever side is the short side of the field that's where you want it to be so in this scenario we're going to flip it and literally all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense okay and then we're going to use her we're going to use her the middle of the field here with uh with redmond okay um, you can use her him or you can use her summers it really doesn't matter it's up to you either one of these guys is fine but all you're going to do is you're going to put your outside corner into a uh, a cloud flat zone and then what you're going to do is on the left side i like to drop my defensive end into a hard flat just like this right here and then now i know i'm my job is to use her the middle of the field and i actually typically would like to spy this guy right here so i know my job is to use her the middle of the field with summers everything else is going to flow from here but what you'll see is this really really does a good job so if i try to throw quicks to the quick to the flats that that little cloud flat is oftentimes going to be able to be in a good position uh, to be able to make a stop what this is going to allow um, for my for my defense is you're going to be able to get out here and make easy tackles with your cloud flat uh, coverage. Now, what I also would recommend with this is if you're playing bunch, if you're playing bunch, okay, you would want to flip this. So if you are playing like a trip set or something like that, just flip the play. It's very easy to flip the play. Um, all you have to do is hit uh, square and then right trigger and then run your cover to Mabel coverage on that other side right there. And now what you're going to see is we're going to be able to and make sure you pass commit. But you're going to see what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to jump to the flats and put stops to these quick flat routes that are very, very pesky to stop this year. Another thing you're going to be able to do with this coverage shell is you are going to be able to uh, basically put an end to corner routes and crossing routes. So if they try to run corner routes, you're going to see your guys are going to drop right into the vicinity and you're going to get a lot of interceptions with this play uh, on corner routes specifically. This is a very, very, very good uh, play to stop corner routes with. The next thing that you're going to be able to stop is you're going to be able to stop uh, crossing routes uh, or post routes. So like the post route from left to right, what you're going to see here with this simple coverage shell is you're going to be actually able to stop 
this deep corner uh, route combo to the middle of the field. You see here he's going to go to the middle, and we're going to get a pick on that ball as well. This puts a stop to a lot of popular uh, route combinations that people can use. And then let's say, you know, let's say maybe they're going to motion slant or they're going to slant um, somebody. Well, if they do that, then what you're going to see here is you're just going to kind of trace this slant until you can pass him off to your uh, your flat zone. As you can see, they're able to get a catch tackle. So a lot of different things that people are going to do in this game. You're going to be able to stop it with this covered shell. Um, you can also do it, like I said, you can do it out of the 46 normal. Uh, what I like to do is come out in the 46 speed package and just come out in the play uh, cover cover two invert or cover three. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I think cover two invert works a little bit better in my opinion. What all you're going to do with this same type of concept and now we'll run crossing routes all you're going to do is you're just going to put these outside defensive ends into curl flat zones just like this and then what i like to do is just use her the middle of the field with savage you might even drop one of your deep guys uh, into a deep middle third just like this right here so now you have mabel coverage on both sides of the field and then you're basically usering the middle of the field with your guy and so in this situation, I'd just run my cross route and you'll see you're going to run it right into coverage. As you can see there, they're going to be able to drop right into that. So this is a great zone defense, guys. This is a really, really good. Um, what's also really cool about it, like if they run a hitch route, these five yard uh, vert hooks are going to pick it. That's what I like about it, too, is if they run too many hitch routes or too many underneath slants or things like that, your, your five yard uh, hook curls are going to be able to take that away. So like maybe if they throw like a, a curl route to the running back, you'll see here. Um, see how that see how the routes, the yellows are going to come up on that very, very well. Um, and the other cool part about it is if like, let's say they run up the seam. Because that's what their that's their thought process. Oh, you're running five yard hook curls. I'm gonna run up the seam, and you see how um, you see how those deep halves are kind of in the vicinity, kind of in the process, kind of in the position to be able to make a play. And then also, what you're gonna be able to have is that middle guy, which is typically gonna be your user defender, but he's gonna be in that seam well as well, mixing things up. And oftentimes, you're gonna get a lot of interceptions with people trying to throw the ball to the seams, or trying to throw the ball to the out routes, or trying to throw, you know, whatever it might be. You know, corner strike is something that you're going to get a lot of in this year's game. What you see here is this is going to do a fairly good job stopping corner strike um, as long as you pass commit. One thing that's really, really important with this, shade outside, shade over top every single time. Um, that, will sell, that will save you a, a little bit of a hassle. But you see something like this, you're basically creating a cover three Mabel um, on both sides of the field. And what you'll see is in corner strike, corner strike's the one play that this is not going to be great on um but you know from a cover three perspective it's going to be just fine so what i would recommend though with this is make sure make sure make sure make sure that your deep blue zones are off coverage if they're underneath coverage they're going to struggle but you'll see this deep half oftentimes will play things um play those deep post routes those deep crossing routes as you see right there if they mess up with timing these deep half zones are really really effective uh for taking that on so what they'd have to do with this is throw it like right here but as you can see jair alexander is going to be able to drift and float towards that that's one of the other reasons why i really like this um i really like this strategy this play call uh, you'll see here with the verticals if we if we try to run the verticals concept up the seam on that right side You see we actually do have a little bit of a window there But if you have a good corner and a good click on you're gonna be able to get out there and play So I really like the deep half zones this year the play from cover to invert and also the play from uh, The big nickel over G so just a couple things to keep in mind as you're playing defense in this year's game But hey guys real quick before we take off I wanted to let you know about my texting membership if you haven't signed up for it It is very very easy to sign up for all you have to do is send me uh, a personal text message. My number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen right there. It's 812-216-3644. So just send me a text. Let me know that you want to be a part of the membership. Basically, what that's going to get you is it's going to get you one exclusive video every single week that I'm going to release on Mondays. And that video is basically designed to give you a meta update, give you kind of an insider exclusive update of you know kind of what's going on in the underground in the depths of the game and really break down some in-depth tutorial in-depth pro tips kind of um strategy for you kind of that next tier so i wanted to, to invite everybody to it not everybody's going to get to see the video the only way you get the video is if you are a texting member so i would love for you to sign up for that again very very simple all you gotta do is shoot me a text to sign up and that will get you signed up thank you so much for your time today guys we have a couple more videos coming i do want to encourage you to join our discord 
Discord if you want to connect with me and other Madden players. Uh, that link is in the description. If you haven't picked up my ebook yet, um, my whole defensive guide is in the description below as the Madden 21 competitive guide. But last but not least, guys, we will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on YouTube. So we'd love to see you come hang out. And we've got two more videos coming on our YouTube channel, so make sure to stay up to date. Um, by turning on that notification icon down at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Thanks guys.